In this quick and easy tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can deploy GitHub project on a railway. Now, this is f uh, like a very, very quick tutorial. Now, first, you just need to, to go to railway and then you want to click on deploy a new project. Now, after that, you want to click on GitHub repository and then click on log in with GitHub if you haven't done that already. After that, you just need to sign in. They will send you a verification code. Now after that, you just need to click on authorize railway app. All right, now it, it will be redirect, like it will be, it says here you are being redirected to the authorized. Now here you just need to, as you can see the requirements here, just agree to our privacy and data policy, uh, be at least 16 years old, Rail, railway will email you, communicate to other services. Okay, so scroll down. Then click on I agree with railways terms of and or service. After that, as you can see, just wait a few seconds. Then click on here, click on I will not deploy any of that. After that, you just need to click here. It says here, what would you like to deploy today? Click on configure GitHub app. It's going to take you directly to GitHub. Uh, here you want to select which like if you want to select only a few rep repositories or like enable all all rep repositories I'm going to go with all repositories and then I'm going to scroll down click on install and authorize it says here you are being redirected to a railway app so just give it a few seconds all you need to do you just need to click here this new button in the top right plus now after that you want to click on uh here you want to click on github repository okay wait a few seconds here you want to select your project that you want to deploy for example i'm going to go with new website my new website then wait a few seconds as you can see you can see the process here if you click on this arrow this is a building image deploy Post deploy. So just give it a few seconds. And as you can see, it says here deployment successful. And you just click on the profile in the top left dashboard. So this is the product. Click on it. Now, if you click on it, click on it. Just click on it again, and then click on settings. Scroll down, and here you can generate a domain. Click on generate, and then enter here, for example, the same number. Just enter the port. Uh, enter the port your app is listening on. Click on generate domain. And that's it. This is the link now. Just click on copy, and then you can open it anywhere you want. So this is it. Okay, it doesn't work. This is uh, just an example. My color for a website. Now I hope this tutorial helped you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I try to reply to every single comment. And drop a like. Those would be highly appreciated. See you in the next tutorial.